Now this is what we're supposed to see in these streams. Water. Check this out. I've never seen so much water in here before. No way in heck will I ride my bike through this. Yeah, this is pretty flooded. There isn't usually a lake here. But just look how flooded this is. Don't normally see this much. Let's see how it is a little further down. It's a bit difficult to do this because one hand on the bike's handlebars, one hand holding the camera. Oh yeah, this is the other side of that bit that I'm not going to drive my bike through. I don't even know if I filmed that bit because I think the camera was probably paused at the time while I thought it was recording. All right, camera's ready, I'm ready, let's go. Let's go for a little ride. I'm gonna look through the camera's viewfinder while I'm going along. So the camera's actually pointed at what I'm looking at. I'll have to rest the camera on the handlebars while I get going. Right. Random person. One thing that's really annoying is all these curbs everywhere. Of course, you probably cannot even hear me with all the wind right now. think for people who are on a bike who've got to bump up these and get their tires punctured and their wheels buckled because of all these stupid curbs Way, stupid crow. And now here we are on the other side. In case the camera didn't film it earlier, because I think the camera was paused the whole time. And just check out how flooded this is. As if you can hear me over that bird. You might be able to see how high the water actually did get. Make our way over to the bridge. That is, if you can hear me over the wind. Mind you, this isn't as flooded as I have seen it. Last time I came down here, the water was covering up those pipes. So while I'm out here, I'm just gonna clear up a little misconception about me, as some people think. Now, in the video I did about, you know, all this excessive sunny weather we keep getting and the fact that I hate sunny weather. A lot of people jump to a misconclusion that I just want to see rain. Well, no, I just want to see it completely overcast. I mean, I've 
Obviously, I don't want to be out in the rain. I don't know why, but I just like it gloomy. I wasn't always like this. When I was young, I actually did like sunny weather. But as I got older and wiser, wider, well, they just don't do anything for me anymore. Anyway, let's get back. I'll clean up an another little misconception. That's... A lot of you seem to think that I hate electronic music and I hate synthesizers. Well, that's not, a, not exactly true. It's just today's electronic music that I can't stand. Although there is a lot of, like, independent stuff. That's not in the... Oh, person, random people thinking I'm talking to myself. Anyway. There's a lot of, uh, like, independent electronic music that I do like. I better slow down a bit because you won't be able to hear me over the wind. Like, I like a lot of the, uh, synthwave stuff. As long as it's the chill side of synthwave, of course. And lo-fi hip-hop, I also like that. And of course, uh, electronic music from the 70s and the 80s, that's really good as well. I mean, I could quite happily listen to an hour of, let's say, craft work or something like that. And if you've ever listened to any of the music that I make, what's one of the instruments that you hear in that? Well, synthesizers, of course. I admit that not all of the music I make has synthesizers in it, but a lot of it does. In fact, I've made a few purely electronic tracks. Do you realize I just went up that hill without even pedaling? So to say that I hate synthesizers and I hate electronic music, it couldn't be further from the truth. It's just the mainstream stuff of the day that I don't like. Although I'm quite happy with my bike, what I wouldn't give to ride on some of those little things that kids get to ride on, but they don't make them in adult sizes. They just look like fun. Actually, I'd give anything to be a, to be a kid again. Maybe not that young, but it's just something that I've always wanted. down a bit. You're not even supposed to drive your car along these roads. This is supposed to be for like services and deliveries and stuff like that. But everybody does it. But every Scottish person does it. Or something. I think that's quite a cool accent, you know, northern accents. I don't know why, but I think it's really cool. Like Lister and Red Dwarf. 
Mister, give me that cat. It's not as easy as that. Me and the cat can have a baby cat. And we're gonna do all the things in order to get a baby cat. Actually, I don't think that was the original lines, but... Um, excuse me for sniffing right into the camera's mic then. Didn't mean to do that. Well, um, I'm gonna shut the camera off now. Because I've got things to do. And, yeah, so... Well, here we are, back in the shed. Yeah, this is what we call the shed. It's really dark in here. Surprised the camera can actually see anything. Let's see how much battery I actually have. Yeah, that's quite low. And it still got up that hill really effortlessly. Just using the throttle. See, the thing is, when I bought this, you know, when I bought this, all these parts to turn my bike into an e-bike, I got one with a throttle because I don't see the point of having an e-bike if you still have to pedal it. I mean, that kind of defeats the purpose, so that's why I got this. And yeah, this is going to get a repaint, and uh, when the drier weather comes, I'm also going to clean this because it really needs it, but this... There's just no point until then. Anyway, the camera's wandering about all over the place because I'm not looking through the viewfinder. But yeah, I'm going to take the battery in and charge it, and until next time, goodbye. Not surprising, really. It's been a couple of weeks since I last charged that battery. Even YouTube doesn't have much on it nowadays. Even after blocking all the shorts, there's still not much I want to see. Oh, God, no.